The Toy Insider mom is here, Lori Shad, with toys that teach the kids. Because it's that time of year, it's September, we've been playing unstructured play all summer long. Now it's time to get into some toys that might be able to teach you a thing or two, whether it's hand-eye coordination yep, you're or building. Right. And you know what, there are toys and then there are toys. Oh, there are yeah. toys that inspire kids and there are toys that teach kids really difficult and challenging subjects in school, but when they are playing it within the toys, it makes those subjects less intimidating and a lot more fun. Like building, which offers so many problem-solving solutions. This is our Sky Sprinter by Connects. Look yeah. at this. This is 797 pieces that the kids oh have gosh. to put together. We have a seven foot tall coaster and... Oh, amazing! <laughs> Let's see if it goes all by itself. So you build it you and then... build it. Ah, uh, we had a difficult... The, the building is actually a huge part of the fun because I look at is. a child like my seven-year-old and the joy for him there is going goes. to be building this building thing. Building this whole thing. And kids can actually take this apart afterwards and yeah. they can take another uh, coaster from online and build a whole new one. Oh my God, this is amazing. So you're learning all of the things that you would be learning in a physics class, in a science yep. class, in a math class. A lot of logic, a lot of problem solving, a yes. lot of fun. This is beautiful. I love it. How tall okay. is this? It's taller Seven than feet. us, Lori. Seven feet tall. Okay, amazing. so when kids get into class, the littlest ones. Yeah. One of their favorite times is show and tell and storytelling. Yes. Well, look at these beautiful folk monist puppets. So not only does this make storytelling so much fun, they're beautiful, but it also gives kids a lot of confidence yes. when they're standing in front of a classroom and they can make up beautiful stories about dragons and castles and look how much fun these are and parents of course can use them for story time as well come a long way from a sock let me tell you <laughs> remember those puppets you know what that sometimes works too but wow. these are just these gorgeous. are gorgeous so intricate so when kids are heading back to school they like to go back in style and that means they like to make things we know they're all about do it yourself so these yes. are weavy loops Kids are actually weaving. We have a loom. Okay. We have these cool threads. See that? But what kids can do is they can make things for their backpack, keychains, all kinds of fun things. And look what they're learning about, patterns. Yes. They're following patterns. They're following instructions. Lots of fun. And they're personalizing all of their all of their items, which is a really big which, deal for kids. Uh, very right? big deal. Now, we know that the kids are connected. So whether yes. home or school, whether they're listening to music or listening to homework, yeah. we like them to listen on their own. So these are the iPhone earbuds. And I love them. They have little cushions. Yes. So three different size cushions for them to choose from, so it's comfortable. Right. They come with a little pouch. We have our Frozen. We oh have my our God, Avenger Age of Ultron. And we even have something so that the sound on the outside doesn't bother them so much and they can concentrate on what they're listening to. Very cool, and you don't have to hear all of their fabulous programs right? on the iPad. <laughs> I like right. that. So let's talk about STEM, one of the biggest buzzwords you'll hear all year long. Science, yes. technology, engineering, and mathematics, and it's never too young to introduce kids to these subjects like science. Right. So we can start with something like the Geo Safari Junior. This these. is the Jungle Crew lab set, and look at this. All of our scientific equipment with cute little jungle animals right on top. So cute. It You've got the test tube here. Everything. You've got this little thing. Yeah, our, our tweezers. Yeah. Um, and then it comes with a booklet. It's an activity booklet and anything that you're doing, there's about 10 activities the kids can find right in the kitchen, the backyard, but everything is at home. And there's a little notepad. They write their observations. And they can write everything down. That is good, like a very good scientist. So we're going to go back oh, to building because it's really cool awesome. and Laser Pegs has supercharged it. Okay. So this kit, kids can make 30 different builds out of this. So it's really cool. This is our super copter. But what I love about this, watch. Hello. It lights up. It lights up, but it's reacting to our voice. Can you oh, see that? Oh, is that what's that? happening right now? Yes. It's moving like my <laughs> voice. How cool it is. It is. It is. That is so cool. And then, of course, we can just let the lights go, and that's always fun. That is awesome. Now, one of the other things that toys do is they inspire kids yes. to be something, and we all love Doc McStuffins. We sure do. Cook, kids. Don't be like Tracy. <laughs> Get in that kitchen and make a meal. But now Doc is going to be a vet. Oh, she's so a vet. Not, I thought it was a kitchen. Not only is she is she taking care of the broken toys in the neighborhood, now she's taking care of the animals. Look, we have our light-up x-ray machine. Oh, she my says goodness. things. Our puppy, we can weigh them. We can give them a pretend shower. Look at that. So a lot of fun. And who knows which children are going to grow up, and they're going to want to be a veterinarian because they've been playing with this and exposed to things just like this. Well, I wanted to put a smile on little Alexis's face. She's in the front row. Alexis, come on up here. Oh, here she is. Because I said, what is your absolute favorite toy that you've seen and she said dog mixed stuff 
Yes. Back mixed up. <laughs> yes. You can play with it. Look, there's little fake animal cookies in there, and you can brush your, your, your animal's hair. There you go. Have fun. And you know what? You can actually take it home with you today. Oh. Yeah. Kitchen, right? Yes. But, um, you know, we don't always want to turn on the oven or the stove. We don't want to always deal with the heat. But the kids love to make things. And yes. when they do, think about it. Now they're dealing with measuring. Measuring water. Measuring mix. Math. Well, these are yummy nummies. So kids can now make their favorite mini treats. Oh, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, pizza, chicken nuggets. These are That's just a bite. Look at that. That's smell the tiniest them. little It'll burger I've ever like seen. a cheeseburger. Oh my gosh, they smell good. <laughs> they smell great. I eat that and I would, thing. I would tell you to eat it, except I made these a few days ago. Okay, so never mind. mind. <laughs> and crayons. We know that kids are going to head back to school. What's their favorite thing to bring is that new box of crayons. That's right. Well, this is the crayon carver. We are actually, whatever we carve here, we are carving right into the crayon. Oh my can gosh, take a look says? at that. So this is a City Line crayon. See that? Isn't that cool? So kids can write their name, messages, anything that they want. That is beautiful. Personalizing your crayons Personalizing even. Personalizing the crayons. Okay, so back to science. And outside, when we get the kids outside, they're exploring, they're learning. So here's an intro to biology. Mm -hmm. This is the Nancy V Aquascope, and we have our activity journal. We can put this in the water. Oh. It's going to magnify things times five. Plus, we have a light on this, mm -hmm. so if we're looking at anything in the dark, we can see it. It measures temperature. It's a really great way for kids to explore what's going on underwater without even getting wet. That is so cool. And I finally, love that idea. I know. And, and then, then we get way, sort of techy here. We are dealing with tech and toys merging together. Right. This is REV. REV stands for Robotic Enhanced Vehicle. So okay. two ways to play. We can either download the free app, and I can play all by myself. I have one car that I'm controlling. Yes. Okay, let's give it a try. One car let's that I'm give it controlling, a try. and you can control the car, but let's say I was alone. One car I can control, and the other one would become a drone. Oh. And we would be chasing each other. Let me tell you something. This was so easy to, whoa, download. <laughs> um, I, 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 and neither one of us are good drivers. No, we're not. <laughs> well, this is what I thought that went right away when I started playing with it. I thought hand-eye coordination, like my son would kill this game. He would be amazing it's, it's, at it. It's an amazing game. And Come look, back. No track, <laughs> no arena. We can play yeah. this anywhere. It's so much fun. And then we have the cars that are chasing each other, right. which is really, really cool. So I think that's just, awesome. It's amazing. The technology and the toys working together so seamlessly. I love it. A ton of fun. Now, Lori, uh, we know you never come here empty-handed, no, so Lori don't. has brought down the Weavy Loops, Yummy Nummies, Crayola Crayons, and Age of Ultron headphones for everyone <laughs> in our audience.